What's up everyone? In this video I'm going to be unboxing Sony's PS LX310 Bluetooth turntable. This is how it comes and you have to put in the middle plate and this thing comes with the RCA connection. The cables are hardwired into the system. This is the front. You got the start, stop, up and down of the stylus. Um, you also have the speed select 33 rpm or 45 rpm and you want the 7 inch or 12 inch so this is the adapter you need uh, if you want to be playing a 7 inch vinyl record and here's the button for the Bluetooth pairing and this is the DC adapter so this is the cover let's attach the cover to the turntable and these are the clips that you need uh, to connect to the back of the turntable so you can attach this plastic cover. There's only one direction you can put this in. You cannot put it in the wrong direction because it only slides in one direction so there's no problem. Once you insert it in, it should just sit there comfortably. Uh, so to align it and then slide it in so there you go super easy way let's go ahead and attach the plate it's a big giant rubber thing this needs to go and get attached to this little golden um, pulley and don't worry if it comes off just use your two fingers to place it back around the plate just like so there are these two red tabs attached to it you just have to remove that and essentially you just put this inside here like so so it starts moving the plate goes on top of uh, the turntable like so and the rubber ring um, just needs to go around the pulley. Place the plate inside. I can just slide it, slide the rubber washer across to the golden pulley and it's done. There's a soft plate cover um, so let's uh, release this stylus. There's a cover on the phonograph needle as well. Just put that aside. And this thing is good to go. And remember I mentioned uh, about um, the adapter for the 7 inch vinyl. There's really no place here where you can actually put that which is annoying. Um, next step, I'm just gonna connect the adapter. This has an output select, which is phono or line. So I'm just gonna have it selected at phono. Um, and gain select, I'm just gonna have it at the medium because I don't want too much gain. I don't want too low gain either. So I'm just gonna have it medium. But if I'll feel um, I'm not happy with the particular sound, then I will change it. Alright, switching on the power. Um, there are no lights indicating that it's been switched on, but look, the uh, stylus has just moved and the turntable is spinning on its own. But I'm just gonna push it back here so that it's not moving. Let's try the Bluetooth function. So I've switched on my soundbar to the Bluetooth. And I'm just gonna press this and see if it can be connected. All right, so what I did was um, simply pressed uh, the pairing function for like a few seconds, and then I did the same thing on my soundbar as well, and both the devices were able to connect with each other. It flashed for a little bit and then it connected. All right, let's place a vinyl record in this and have a quick listen.
for this quick demonstration, I'm going to use Lamo God's latest album, uh, Omens, which came on came out in 2023. And I won't play um, the full song, but I'll just play for a few seconds so that I don't get copyright um, infringement notice from YouTube. Alright guys, so I had a quick listen and I also had a quick play around with the gain settings so I actually did switch it uh, to low gain and um, high gain just to see what the difference is and essentially uh, the high gain uh, gives you an extra boost in the volume. In terms of the high and bass frequencies, um, that didn't really change. Uh, it was essentially increasing the volume by putting it on high gain and in decreasing the volume when placing it on low gain. Um, I think the turntable looks great. Um, it does have a big footprint um, that I'm not too happy about because my previous Audio Technica was actually pretty nice, small footprint, but um, this was the only version which was available in the store, which was also on special uh, and had the Bluetooth feature. I have a feeling that unfortunately this won't be able to to get connected to Apple AirPod, uh, Apple HomePod Mini, just for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna go ahead and try to connect uh, Apple HomePod Mini to this and see if that works. Um, it's the Apple app, and I'm gonna see if I can try to pair this. So I've picked the one. HomePod, which is named as Lounge Room. Um, apologies if it's coming up as blurry. Um, so I've picked Lounge Room and I'll see if I can add uh, something to it, which is in this case the turntable. Um, nope, that's probably not giving me enough options to do that. I'm gonna hold uh, the pairing button on the Sony Bluetooth. Uh, there's nothing over here which says um, connect to a Bluetooth device and I'm hoping it'll connect to that but it did not so that did not work. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this little video of me unboxing the Sony um, Bluetooth turntable and also doing a quick setup and having a quick demo. So if you're new to my channel, make sure to give us a like and comment um, and also subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you guys next time.